It's not, I didn't, it's rude. Oh, it's I didn't have time for you. I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her. I can't understand. I, I mean, seriously. There, how does that work here? You know? Oh, magic. <laughs> that is that that's the simple answer, yeah. I, I guess. Well, we need to move on with our show. Now now um, again I, I've managed to get the name of our next performer on a sheet of paper. Whatever you do, do not say the name. Do not say the name. Correct. <laughs> Peter <Adler! laughs> summer at home uh, trying to get rid of all the fucking gnomes in the garden. <laughs> my mother uh, wouldn't stop watching her books that crazy fucking clock she had. <laughs> I just stayed out of her way, you know what I mean? And, and, and you know, and I have, you know, all my other brothers are handsome and uh, they fight dragons and train them and shit and I don't do any of that. Uh, I claim the fame as, you know, uh, a friend of mine. And, you know, so, and I make this face all the time. <laughs> so I spent the summer really trying to, you know, let myself, you know, get, stay out of everybody's way, and I got to be closer to my twin brothers, Fred and George, and, and uh, they're good guys, they're real good guys. Dicks, but like real good guys. <laughs> and we got really close over the summer, and I, and I realized, you know, we're going to be going back to school, and things are going, you know, there's going to be girls, I'm not older now, and it's not, you know, and then there's things, and remember puberty, we talked about that, it didn't really, it worked here didn't work so uh fred and george the night before they gave me a new product they said it's called, it's called the extender wanger and they, it's, it's like a little there's a uh, it's it's uh, they're kind of like those uh, you know the little chocolates they make the puking pastilles you know it's like, but it's not that so they're like you just take these you're gonna be fine don't worry about it you know it'll look like you got a fucking fire bolt coming out of your so you know uh they, they gave me a big box of them. I was going to take, you know, one every day. And, and so the, but I figured, well, you know, I'm coming back to the term. And I'm going to get, you know, it's, I'm, uh, on my way to platform nine and three quarters of King's Cross Station, I make my way in there. And before I push through the fucking invisible thing that doesn't make any sense, if you really think about it. I take three of them because I figure, well, you know, Hermione's going to be there. She's got sharp eyes. So, you know, I want to make sure she knows I dress to the left. And then, so, 
So about an hour into the trip, the fucking lady with the with the car comes by. We get our pumpkin juice, which sucks. I'll be honest with you. You know, I already have all the chocolate frog cards, and those, and honestly, the birdie beans are for suckers. So like, I, there was nothing I wanted. And I'm saying, who wants to eat that? You know what I mean? Give me a bean that tastes like pussy. I'll eat that one. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. So, about an hour into the trip, Harry and, and Hermione and I are sitting uh, in in the you know in the in our little compartment next to uh, whatever freak they have teaching the, the, you know defense of the dark arts this year. Uh, it's out in the corner, and then the heat hits my stomach like the breath of a basilisk, and I realize I'm going to shit my pants. Whatever they put in those extendo wangers instead was going to give me a prolapsed rectum. And it's just, there's no, you can't confundus my ass. Like, there's no, it's just, it, it's trouble. So I asked Harry to watch my stuff for a minute, and I get up, and I, and I, and I make my, what the fuck was that? <laughs> my way back to, uh, the, the, I go to the front of the train, and where the bathroom is, and when I get up there, I realize that fucking, Neville did an Aguamenti charm and blew up the fucking toilet everywhere. So the toilet's out of order. So I start to cry. Because I, don't, I can't, I had that run, it was all busted up and the spello tape didn't work. So like, I can't fix this shit. So it's gonna be trouble. So I make my way back to my seat and I'm sitting down and then it's coming. And every, every bump of the train is like a slick fist kneading my intestines. And, I know that it's going to be trouble, so I start to clench. It's like kind of like like what muggles call kegels. I'm doing that with my, with my ass. And, 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 but the trouble is, once you start clenching, you can't stop clenching because then everything's wide open. The highway is open for business. So we're pulling up to Hogwarts, and I'm at this point, I'm doing Lamaze, and I'm sitting on my seat. <laughs> And I just take one of the Thestrals and I and I go all the way to Hogwarts and I bust my way in there. Fuck the sorting, I don't need to see it. I'm over. And I, it. I run into the first bathroom I see in the, right outside of the Great Hall. And man, I go in there. Luckily, someone left a copy of the Daily Prophet right beside the, the, the stall. And I, I pull up my robes and I sit down and it is like a goddamn miracle. I'm all of a sudden, all everything bad in the world just comes shooting out of my back end. And I'm reborn like Fox the Phoenix, like just taking the flight into midair. And it's wonderful. And I'm just, it just there's a world of possibilities. I can do anything in that moment. And I'm just crying and laughing and just so happy. And then I look up. And I see that the stall door was unlocked and it had swung open. And I was in the ladies' room. And there's fucking Moaning Myrtle, Professor McGonagall, and Padma and Pavardi Patil, those bitches, are right there staring at me. And they're staring right into my eyes and I'm like, sorry ladies. And I pull up. And I do a quick charm, get rid of all the business, and I walk out, and that fucking Colin McCready starts taking my picture right outside of the bathroom. <laughs> he, uh, he dies in the last book. <laughs> Spoilers! I went, uh, I went to the Great Hall, and I ate something that was very calming to my stomach, and I watched Dumbledore make his fucking speech. <laughs> looked up and McGonagall wouldn't meet my eye. <laughs> I knew in that moment that I would never forget that moment of triumph that day, and neither would she. Thank you very much.